वेलकम टू द एपिसोड 17 ऑफ माय चैनल इन एपिसोड 16 वी लर्न दैट द एडियाकरन पीरियड सपोर्टेड द मल्टी सेलुलर ट्यूबुलर क्रीचर्स व्हिच लिव्ड फॉर अबाउट 96 मिलियन इयर्स द अंडरलाइंग नियो प्रोटोरोजोइक डायमेक्टाइट्स और टिलाइट्स पॉइंट टुवर्ड्स a severe climate during which only glacial erosion and downslope transport was possible during that period that is before 540 million years two repeated glacial epochs confronted the primitive life that existed before the ediacaran the older between 717 to 659 million years ago called the stertian glaciation epoch and the succeeding short merinoan epoch was for about 5 million years between 640 to 635 million years ago but both these uh, chronometrically dated epochs one after the other were widespread and encircled the entire go the earth's surface resembled that of its outer neighbor mars or the surfaces of the still farther located asteroids pallas and hygeia this snow enveloped appearance of our planet is often referred to as the snowball earth the snowball earth what caused the snowball event it couldn't be attributed to the drifting of the continental blocks to regions proximal to the south pole since some paleomagnetic data suggest lower latitude that is near equatorial coordinates for the glaciated supercontinent rodinia about 635 million years ago the event was extraordinarily strange as it highlighted the lowered intensity of the incident heat energy of the then sun it is estimated that this condition continued for about 100 million years it is threatening isn't it what if it happens again in the cenozoic maybe after this interglacial period we may have such a threatening episode of snowball earth the surface cooling led to heavy precipitation then also like in the present tropical and subtropical regions the eventual crustal weathering should have consumed substantial amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide and water vapor as the severe climatic conditions continued the earth was pushed to the ice house with its atmospheric depletion of these greenhouse gases the natural cycles of carbon dioxide and water vapor got disrupted the crust hydrosphere atmosphere interaction came gradually to a halt but these conditions of confinement did not last long say 100 million years how did this hard time get shortened the lvz convection 100 to 150 kilometers inside the earth system rescued the earth you are quite familiar with the lvz that is low velocity zone which is less rigid 
partly fluid layer under the lithosphere. The LVZ was referred to in episode 13 of the series Mother Earth. The heat inside was dissipated forcefully through volcanic eruptions, mostly under the then glacial cover. The expelled lavas got accreted to the crust and the emanated water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane and other greenhouse gases got added to the then atmosphere. That enriched the atmosphere gradually in these greenhouse gases. The greenhouse salvaged the earth from the dreadful snowball condition which had stopped the exogenic geochemical cycle. The deglaciation process was unique to the earth, isn't it? Eventually, the natural cycles of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen involving also the biosphere were restored. The earth experienced several glacial epochs in the post-Cambrian periods also, but never a snowball condition like in the Neo-Proterozoic, just preceding the Eddia current. In the next episode, we will talk about the cap carbonate rock, that is a distinct lithological unit topping the diamic tides of the Neo-Proterozoic. Thank you.